Hi, my name is Lindry, and this is my review of Hollow Taco's I Need Space collection. If you enjoy nail polish related content, maybe uh, think about hitting that subscribe button. <laughs> Currently, at the time of recording, the meat box is still available for $70 USD. You pay no upcharge for the box, the box is always free, and every single shade is still available. Now, I did have a little bit of drama with this collection. The collection in general, it was a roller coaster for me, and I fought my post person over this. So there was a lot of drama, at least for me, about this collection. But let's get into the swatches. The first shade that is up is Solo Mission. This is a dusty, beigey brown with a scattering of hollow running throughout with beigey pink and purple iridescent flakies running throughout. I found that this formula was quite thick, but not too thick that it was impossible to work with, but thicker than the normal hollow taco formula. I was able to reach full opacity in just two coats, which is really nice, but I would say I didn't enjoy this shade. I knew I wasn't gonna enjoy it from the swatch footage, from the promo photos. I was like, eh. This was not up my alley because I felt like it did exactly what I thought it was gonna do and it clashed terribly with my skin tone. If you are someone who has deeper or darker skin, this will look stunning on you. But on someone like me, a pasty white lady, it looks very ugh. <laughs> It's like close enough to my skin tone that it, my, it just kind of looks like my skin is corrupted and I'm just kind of like slothing off. <laughs> I did not enjoy this polish whatsoever. I think it will be a good backing for nail art, which I feel like is something I'm going to say quite a lot with this collection, that this entire collection comprises of good background nail art polishes. I did get this polish because you know, I didn't enjoy the color, but I feel like it's just going to be such a great nail art polish, especially on my skin tone and during the Halloween season. I feel like this will look really good with some like blood spatter on it or some gore and it's just going to look really gross on my nails. So I'm really excited to use this during the Halloween season. As this is a flaky bomb! Oh my god! Peel off base coat, peel off base coat. This is a mess to remove. <laughs> it can be done with acetone. Flakies aren't that difficult to remove, but I don't have the time. I don't have the patience for acetone. Peel off base. The next polish that is up is Or Bite Me. Oh, fuck. This was a standout. I did not think I would love this polish as much as I fucking do. Oh my god. Let's get into it. This is done up in Hollow Taco's Crushed Hollow Formula. I find that the hollow is quite sneaky though. I didn't catch it too much on my nails. I did catch it here and there, but it wasn't nearly as sparkly as I would expect a hollow polish to be. But every time I did catch the hollow, it was really nice. I was able to get this opaque in two coats. It is this lovely cola brown. It's just got a kiss of red into it, giving it this lovely cozy feel. And this is just so beautiful. I feel like this will work amazingly across all skin tones. This is so pretty. This is a stunning two coater and I am so pleased with it. Now, as this isn't the crushed hollow formula, I prefer to use peel off base coat with it, but it's not that much of a struggle to remove. Acetone takes it off easy enough. The next polish that is up is Waste of Space. This is a galaxy in a bottle. Woo! It is a black jelly formula with what I thought at first in the promo photos, I thought it was red shimmer, but on the nail, it appears to be red glitters with circle hollow glitters scattered throughout, giving this polish this lovely, lovely depth. I was so, so pleasantly pleased with this polish. <laughs> it is going to be stunning as a background polish for any space nail art. <laughs> this was a lovely, lovely two coater. And I will say that red didn't come off too strong on the nails. It comes off really strong in the bottle, but on the nails it's much more subdued 
in the background, just hanging out and chilling and occasionally popping up and be like, hey, I'm here. How are you? This is a lovely, lovely polish. As Waste of Space has some big glitters in it, I would suggest a peel off base coat. I didn't struggle too much with acetone, but I feel like a peel off base coat would have made it just a little bit more easier to remove as those glitters tend to hang on for dear life. <laughs> the next polish that is up is Alien Infatuation. <laughs> Steal my heart with these little green men. Yes. I wore this in three coats. I feel like I didn't need the third coat if I had gone thicker on my first two coats. So this will probably be a two to three coater depending on your nail length and preferences. But it is this lovely, lovely gray based jelly with a green shimmer running throughout. It, your fingertips feel like little aliens. It is beautiful. And then there's this delicate, delicate sparkle of hollow just running throughout. In the promo photos, I didn't notice the hollow whatsoever. So the hollow was a, quite a nice surprise. Maybe I just wasn't looking enough at the promo photos enough because I did attempt to dupe out this collection and uh, I didn't use a hollow polish <laughs> when I duped it out. So, <laughs> oops. But as this is just a shimmer based polish, it is easily removed with acetone. No peel off base coat required. And the last polish that is up is I'm Rover It. Again, like Alien Infatuation, I feel like I could have gotten it opaque in two coats, but I swatched it in three. If I had just gone thicker with my first two coats, I probably wouldn't have needed the third. So depending on your nail length and preference, two to three coater. It is this lovely deep dark red with a bright orangish red, it's just a, a burnt orange shimmer running throughout, and a scattering of hollow glitter. It is Martian soil on your nails, and I'm so pleased for it. Now, this was another polish I came into issues with my skin tone in particular. I was hoping this polish would read a lot more, my third husband disappeared under mysterious circumstances. But instead, it read a bit more Tammy working at the dental hygienist office who just loves to gossip too much. Don't worry, Tammy. I love to gossip too. <laughs> so it just didn't come off as sexy as I want on my skin tone. I've seen this swatched on deeper and darker skin tones and oh my god. <laughs> Absolutely stunning. But on mine, it just reads a little bit like, like I'm getting a mimosa for, <laughs> for brunch and we're gossiping. It is still a lovely, beautiful red. I'm so picky and just, I don't know why with reds, I'm just absolutely picky and it's not doing it for me. Currently, it is what I'm wearing on my right hand. Also, um, I've tried to dupe it out, so I'm wearing my, my dupe as well. I do enjoy this polish. It's just not, if it was just a little bit more deeper or a bit more brighter, I feel like it would have come off a little bit more like, mmm, yes. For me, instead, <laughs> it comes off like I have a, a pen with a fuzzy top. What does that mean? <laughs> As I'm Rover It is just a shimmer based polish, is easily removed with acetone, no peel off base coat required. Before I get into my top picks, I did have some issues with this collection, just as <laughs> on an emotional level, on a fighting my post person level. <laughs> I went through so many things. So let's start off with my post person. My post person has decided that, why do I need to finish the delivery? I'm just gonna throw this package on a random doorstep and pray it gets to its destination. We have checked our Google ping, we've checked our post office, we've complained, we've done all the necessary things and USPS just cannot find us and it's just an issue with our post office, which is really great, really great. Hence why this review is going up slightly late because it said it was delivered on the 20th and my neighbors who were so very kind dropped it off this weekend, which I understand if you have a busy lifestyle, you don't have time to also be the mailman when you also have your fucking own job. <laughs> so that was the drama with this collection for me. Hopefully this video goes up on Monday. That means hopefully my dupe video goes up Friday. Those videos take a little bit longer to edit, so I'm praying. <laughs> so hopefully that video goes up Friday. We'll see. <laughs> 
Fingers crossed. If you're new to my channel, I am running a series where I'm attempting to dupe out collections just from the swatch footage online. Uh, that will be linked in the cards. I've already attempted to dupe out Mooncat's Seasons of Purse Phony. Yeah, Fanatic here. I'm not, I'm not dumb. Okay, Fanatic here. <laughs> by an attempt out to dupe out the Persephone collection. But this collection was a complete and utter roller coaster for me. When the collection first dropped, I thought my top picks were gonna be Alien Evasion, Waste of Space, I'm Rover It, or Bite Me, and Solo Mission. That's the order I thought I was going to enjoy the most. When Swatchers got their hands on this collection, I changed my order. I thought it was gonna be I'm Rover It, Alien Infatuation, or Bite Me, Waste of Space, and Solo Mission. And now that the collection is in my hands, my top picks have to go to Or Bite Me and Waste of Space. These polishes just did something to my brain. They tickled it so fucking thoroughly. And I am so hyped because I did not think I would enjoy these polishes as much as I did. And I truly love it when a polish just like shocks me like that. Getting these two on the nails was a pleasure. And I am so, so thoroughly excited by them. Holo Taco knocked it out of the park with these two polishes and I am so thoroughly pleased. But if you want my official ranking, it's Or Bite Me, Waste of Space, Alien Infatuation, I'm Rover It, and Solo Mission. Solo Mission never left fifth place for me because I just knew that, because I share a similar skin tone with Christine. When things are on her skin tone, I can kind of guess what they're gonna look. And I was like, ew, that looks gross on you. It's gonna look gross on me. <laughs> but I feel like it's gonna make such a good background polish for Halloween. But yeah, if you enjoyed my video and you think you're gonna enjoy more swatch footage, duping it out, just talking about nail polish in general, please consider hitting that subscribe button. I am so close to a thousand subscribers. Oh my god. I <laughs> it is insane. <laughs> what were your top picks from this collection? Did you pick it up? Did you grab it? Or are you just passing on it? Because, you know, I feel like I could have waited for a sale for this collection. I feel like it was fully worth it to get or bite me, waste of space and alien factuation at this price point to get it now. Um, but I could have waited for a sale for the other two. But that's what happens when you're very obsessed with nail polish. <laughs> I hold no regrets. But thank you, thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. And bye! Hopefully this... Whoa! Just lost power for a second.